My name is Galen Nelson and I'm the Chief Program Officer at the Mass Clean Energy Center. We have invested millions over the last decade in technologies and market transformation programs that help building owners move towards lower carbon solutions. By improving the insulation and air sealing qualities and performance of our buildings, we're able to more cost effectively electrify uh, the heating and cooling within those buildings. I'm Tashkan Padir. I'm the Director of Institute for Experiential Robotics at Northeastern University. At the Institute, we work on uh, user-inspired research projects on robotics to augment human abilities. When we first came up with the Paris idea, it was all about the day-to-day the -day activities of the workforce. Uh, we observed what they do, we saw some of the challenges, and we said, okay, let's try to solve these hard problems that these workers experience on a daily, daily uh, basis. Paris has an intentional design where it can reach beyond reach, where it can go to places beyond reach of the human workers. Michael Kane. I'm assistant professor here in civil and environmental engineering uh, at Northeastern University. I run the automation for the built and living environment, the ABLE lab. The success of the Paris Robots business model is really going to be driven by starting with a strong foundation in interdisciplinary work that Northeastern really prides itself in. We are connecting a lab specializing in automation in the built environment, another lab working on robotics, and another lab working on advanced sensing systems. What's exciting about the Paris robot is that it not only accelerates the, it makes easier making buildings more energy efficient, it makes them more comfortable, but it can also help buildings adapt to climate change that is coming. Paris has a, a rugged mobility system. It will allow the robot to navigate uh, in unstructured, unknown environments. It has a full-blown sensor suite, which will help us map the environment and provide the inspection capabilities. Paris also has a very novel design so that it can apply spray foam, which is a uh, precursor to applying the insulation in many of the projects. And then lastly, we're working with groups that are in the field not only those that are doing air sealing using the traditional labor intensive approach, but those that are hopefully training the next generation of Paris robot air sealing operations.